so today we are going to draw seascape and I am going to use these particular primary colors in my seascape for the time being and yes later on I am going to use a shade of yellow so I will be showing it to you then right now these are the four primary colors that I am going to use the names of which are given beside so this is a boat that I have drawn out and see in the background and these are my colors on the palette I already have some of them uh, in my palette so I'm going to use them so let's start okay so this is the final drawing and the masking tape you can see I have put it on those places that I want to keep uh, you know out from color for the timing now I'm dampening the area of the sky portion and we'll start with the sky so this is how I color the sky I usually uh, you know dampen the paper uh, the area of the sky and then uh, slide it downward so that the color keeps flowing so it gives a natural effect to the color so this is how the sky looks you can see a little bit of this blue shade I love this color
Well, this is the burnt sienna or the brown color you may see. So I am going to use it for the edges of the board. And now I'm going to uh, make this boat a bit colorful. Well, I remember from my memories, uh, you know, last January uh, we had gone to uh, this Goa and uh, I really loved this place and most of the tourists, everyone loves Goa. So I remember the beautiful colorful boats by the shore and it looked fabulous, you know, it looked fabulous uh, during the sunset or during the you know early sunrise in the morning when the fishermen you know went out uh, on their boat to uh, fishing and uh, all so many boats together on the shore it looked awesome and these were the particular colors that were mainly uh, you know the colors of the boats so a few back uh, down from my memory line i'm trying to bring them on the paper Now I'm going to use uh, this Gamboos yellow. So this is it. I will be using it on the board to give it a beautiful vibrant look. beautiful sea blue color uh, to the edges of the boat and now to give it a, a dark shade I'm using blue brown and green all together blue brown and green to give a dark shade to the edges of the boat. That's how it is. Some orange to the yellow to give it a you know beautiful vibrant shade.
So I'm using a burnt sienna that, that's the brown color to give a beautiful shadow of the boat to the beach. Now as you can see I have removed the masking tape and to the white portions I am thickening the wave portions with a bit of white. Lots of white is what you need to add to create the beautiful white waves. Okay, so this is how the boat looks right now. I have covered coloring the rope. Now this is almost done, I am almost done with the boat. Okay so now I am almost done with the boat and just to give the water a little bit of effect I am using white and sprinkling it over the sea area to give a nice watery effect to the sea water. I hope you like my painting and uh, yes a few of you have always asked me what kind of colors I use and this is one uh, from Brastro that I'm using so you can use any watercolor for this uh, for the beginners cake color I guess that will also help for the kids cake color is good so well I'm done right now So after removing the masking tape, this is how the entire painting looks like. Well, isn't it a beautiful seascape with a vibrant boat in front? Uh, well guys, if you have liked my video, then please do like the video and do subscribe to my page. Only if you have liked my videos then and do give your feedback in the comment box below. Thank you.